Hi there! If you want to create your own student portfolio, Google Sites is a pretty cool tool to use. It's free and it's pretty simple. So let me show you how I created mine. The first step is to go to Google Drive. So log in. And once you're there, create a new folder and call it Portfolio Folder. The next step is to share this folder so that it's public on the web. The reason for this is any document inside should be viewable by visitors of your portfolio. The next step is to go into this portfolio folder. You see the icon that says it's shared. Create subfolders now. So for example, icons, banners, photos, gallery images. After that, go find your documents and files and import them into the drive. If you bring in Microsoft Word documents and PowerPoints, you'll need to convert them. So open it and then open with Google Docs. That will convert it to a Google format. So just double check that the formatting is still correct. If it is, close and go back. Now since we're only going to insert Google Docs into your portfolio, we don't need the Word doc, so remove it. Now let's open a PowerPoint and convert it in the same way. Open it. You can double check if you want. Close it. Go back to your drive and get rid of the PowerPoint because we're only going to use the slide on your portfolio. Next, create some buttons in PowerPoint. Once you've created the button you like, right click and save as a picture. Then save it in your folders and later import into your Google Drive as well. You can also create nice images with PowerPoint. Select everything, press Ctrl G to group, and then you have a single image which can be saved as a picture. Again, save it in the folder. And the next step will be to import these new images and buttons into your Google Drive. Now we're ready to create our Google site. First, give a name to your portfolio site. Your name, for example. And publish. This will be your address. Now I recommend using a text document where you can input all your text and copy paste. Two ways to insert. You can double click or you can go to the insert panel on the right. Paste your text. That's it. Very easy. You can also insert images. I recommend putting a headshot a uh, nice image to show you who you are. And of course you can drag, position it where you want, stretch it, and adjust the size so that it fits well on your page. The next step is to select a theme. Google Sites offers a few and you can customize the colors very easily. So have a look at what you prefer. Once you like one particular style, go ahead and try to change the color to your specific uh, liking. The fonts can also be modified a bit. Now to insert pages is very simple. Name it, done. I recommend doing this at the start so that you can create all your pages and later add the necessary content to them. You can also move pages very easily. Just drag them up and down. You can also put them within another page so that it's a sub page. You can rename it and create multiple levels.
Also consider where you want your navigation to be, at the top or on the side. In my example, I'm keeping it on the side, which is how this is going to look on the left. If you don't want something, simply remove it. To change the banner at the top is very easy. You can select images from Google as a search or from your Google Drive. Once you insert the image, it will be adjusted so that the title can be read easily. You can also toggle that button to see the difference. Now, since this is our home page, I recommend putting buttons here, which is quite cool. Insert an image. We have our buttons already. And there you go. This will be a button. It's not a button yet. So let's import all of them. Of course, resize. You can also modify the background. And if you notice that, oh, this is not the right blue, you can go back to themes and adjust that color to exactly what you want. Okay, so now we're ready to create the links. So click on each image, click the link icon, and select which page it will link it to. That's it. You can also create uh, external links, links to websites. So here I've um, selected some social media icons. I'll import the images, resize them, and by clicking on the image, I'll select uh, YouTube first. I'll click the image, YouTube, click the link icon, and then paste my YouTube channel address. I can do the same with LinkedIn, put my LinkedIn profile as the link. And so if people click those buttons, they can visit my websites. After that, remember to publish. Now let's go to the next page and create more content in there. Now this is a home button, which we're going to put on each page. It's the same process, create the link, and it's going to bring us back home. We're going to do this on each page. Now, a nice way to separate sections is to create a kind of title or a, a divider. Below this, I'm going to import my resume file from the Google Drive. To make it look good, remember to stretch the window so that we can see more or less a full page. That way, we'll feel like when we view the resume, we can see an entire page at once. Now remember that home button? Click and drag it all the way to the bottom. Now we're done with About Me. Publish. Let's go to the next page to create more content. So one thing you can do is you can also have several text sections in the same row uh, along with an image. So here I'm showing you how to put an image next to a paragraph, next to a second paragraph. Okay. 
good idea would be to insert a divider as well, if you have several similar sections. Again, move that home button all the way to the bottom. And there we go. Another page done. Publish. And let's go to the next page. So in here, I want to insert a presentation called Slides, Google Slides. So go find it in your drive, insert. And of course, uh, remember to add some text so you can describe what the presentation is about. You can adjust the size. And there, now your presentation will be able to be viewable on your portfolio. Once you're done updating and uploading your content, remember to publish. Now on this page, the multimedia gallery, we're going to import lots of photos and we can actually import many at once. After they've loaded, look at the arrangement and feel free to move some around according to how you want them to be presented. You can move them up, left, down, right, and of course you can resize them as well. Another interesting thing you can add to your portfolio are videos straight from YouTube or from your computer. So if you have a YouTube video, search for it, click, insert, done. Your video is on your portfolio. Another option you have for photos is to include a caption. That's a good idea to include, especially if you want to describe what the picture is about. And you can modify the text, of course. If you don't want it, simply click the text and delete. If you're happy with that, publish. And let's go to the next page. Now at the end of your portfolio, it would be a good idea to include a comment section. So let's do that. Go back to your drive, create a new Google form. Now this form will be called, leave me a comment, for example. The first question is actually not going to be a question. It's just going to be name. And the short answer is what people will type and it is a required question. Now you can duplicate this one. The second question will be comment, paragraph, also required. That's it, that's the form. Now go to responses. We're going to create a spreadsheet here where the responses will go. So call this one comments, responses, and create. Now these two have been created in your Google Drive. Let's open the spreadsheet just to double check what's in there and select column A, the timestamp, and sort from A to Z so that the comments will be in order uh, chronologically. Now you can close these two, make sure they have a name. We'll double check that they are in your Google Drive. Yes, the form is there, the spreadsheet is there. So let's go back to your site and we'll insert them. Go to insert, find forms, select the form and insert. Of course, adjust so that you can see the entire section of text 
and next to it we're going to insert the comments spreadsheet, the responses. Okay. So let's publish this, and the next step is to view the published site so we can leave a comment and test that function. So name, we'll type a name. Once we submit, we just need to refresh this window. And if we scroll down, there we go. The comment has been saved. So that's how you create your portfolio. Let's go back to our home page and celebrate.